Hey guys, welcome back to LPL. Um, so today we're we're going to take a little break off of the 55 um, that we've been working on in the, the past few weeks. And we're actually going to turn this pile of material here, um, all these parts, into a, uh, a nine inch rear axle for my wife's Chevelle. Um, she's got a 69 Chevelle. Got a 12 volt in it right now but we're we're far exceeding <clears throat> its power limits so uh this is a it's kind of a kit that we've been developing that'll be for sale at some point um but uh this is a, a billet 3 8 flange uh for the front of the for the front of the nine inch with an o-ring seal um we've got the the third member gussets uh, external and the internals and then this you can bend by hand and uh, this becomes the basically the rear cover of the nine inch so come along with us and uh, let's uh, let's put one of these things together we've got this flat that's the same cut you can see that it's scored uh, basically we cut all this on the plasma and uh, so we have bend reliefs in it so uh, the main reason for that is um, when we if we ever want to go ship one of these out we we don't have to ship this huge box it can literally be you know this this real flat package and you guys have the ability to uh, DIY your own axle in fact this is actually called the DIY 9. So, where I'm going to start here is actually I'm going to start hand forming this uh, rear cover to fit the, the faceplate. So, if you look at this, <clears throat> this angle is what this tab has to be bent up to on both sides. So, that's a good place to start. We just start hand forming this into shape. It takes a little bit of pressure, but it, it really does bend pretty easily. So what I'm doing here is I'm orienting that the DIY nine is up, and so the drain plug has to be on the right side. So. Not quite there yet. Start keep bending on these tacks so we get a good fit. That's a pretty nice fit there. And then we're going to move <clears throat> to the next set of flats. Right there. And then the last set. Okay, so we're not looking for real critical, you know, preciseness on this setup. We're just trying to get these really close. Because then we're going to start forming these up. So, these, like I said, these have been pretty easily. I did grab a, a leverage device. Just hold that down and start bending this up.
right. For the housing, tack to center section. And again, a lot of this is just by hand. Corners all tacked. Start working these wings down. So, I'm here. <clears throat> Notice, I didn't make any real welds on this thing. We still need it a little bit flexible. So, as you can see, I mean, this is the general starting point of an axle. So, at this point, we've got uh, axle tubes that are roughed out at 24 inch length. And this is what one of our kits would represent, too. So, um, this is more than ample amount of, of axle tube. Basically, we're gonna just lightly tack the housing ends onto the tubes, get them. Now, when we're doing our math, we know we, we have that specific axle length we, we're requiring, but we can easily factor in that total length from the housing end to wherever we need to cut here. In this case, we're going to come up with, uh, well, I don't know the math yet, but we'll get back to you on that. All right, guys, so we've got a uh, uh, axle tool that, that we, uh, we also make um, installed on the, on the faceplate. And so what we're trying to determine is how much, uh, what does our tube length need to be? So this is actually super easy. There's a slot in the tool and we're going to measure from here. We've got six and nine sixteenths. So anything we, we'll just go ahead and write that on the tool. It'll wipe off later. And then from the same slot, I go five inches. So uh, that's gonna. So that's our pinion offset. That that says that the pinion is gonna set over here, and so we're gonna have one tube a little shorter than the other to get that pinion in center line. Now we're looking for a 56 inch long or a wide axle from housing end to housing end. So 56 inches in total. Um, that's gonna give the Chevelle a one inch narrower axle from. Uh, from the you know from the the factory uh, setup.
So we're gonna we can with with this tool knowing this is six and nine sixteenths. This is five inch. This is where the tubes stop. This notch. Uh, we can then figure our length of our axle tubes. So now that we have uh, the housing sheep kind of roughed out, tacked up, <clears throat> um, and these outer supports in, um, I've got a chunk of tube here. But basically, the tubes stop at this point on the faceplate. And so <clears throat> we built these kits to accept either a three inch tube, which is this is what this is, or a three and a half inch tube, which this would just grow and, and expand. Um, so these these inner plates, these inner gussets, the tube, you know, basically won't go through them. They 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 act as a stop. And so what we want to do, and they they should dang near they should dang near lay flat in there, but they actually go inside of the housing just like that, and the inside of that tube is going to weld to that as well. And as long as it's lined up with this edge, when it's in here, the thing is good to go. And again, this is like, we're not trying to be super critical or, or uh, you know, make, make this thing super scientific. Obviously, uh, you know, once the tubes go in and we start pulling this thing into straight, all of these tack welds are going to kind of relieve and and move around a little bit, and that's exactly what we want. So, I'm going to go ahead and tack these guys in, and uh, we'll get moving on to the fixtures. Alright guys, so what we've got is we've got our housing bolted down to the fixture through the, the face plate. And then we've got these, we've cut our tubes. We previously tack welded our, our ends. And I've ground and cleaned up the ends of the tubes so they'll slide in and out of the, the housing ends nicely. And they actually just they, those plates we just welded in, that's what we're stopping against because this is a three inch uh, tube. So, as you can see, that, I don't know if you can, you can kind of see that internal tube. Anyway, so we've set this all up and what this fixture is, is there's, there is a, a bar this bar runs the entire length of the housing. And then there's two ears in here that that bar travels through. And so what that's doing is, is it's aligning. And the, well, let me back up. That's taking place of the third member bearings. And, and so that bar kit, that's from Mittler Brothers. And they're fairly inexpensive if a guy's building housings. Um, but that's how we align everything, and that's why none of this is real critical uh, as it goes together. You just got to be basically close. So, because that that bar is the final, the final, uh, the final setup. Now we built this fixture to build housings on because I do. I mean, we, I probably build. Well, I don't know. The plan is, is to build 20 or 25 of these a year uh, at some point. But, and what these fixtures do is now we have accurate spacing from the faceplate that's bolted to the fixture to the center line of our 
axle tubes, and that gives us a really good starting point uh, and ensures that this all stays very straight. So. All right, guys, so from this point forward, we're just really going to do a bunch of welding. Um, so uh, no real sense in showing any of that, but uh, basically all of the seams on this third member, around the axle tubes, around the outer gussets, um, all of that will be 100% welded before it comes off this fixture. And it's a lot of just bouncing around. So the housing, we can weld, you know, that whole line all in one shot. And we can just start working around it. However, like the axle tubes, we're going to weld maybe an inch. And then we're going to move over to a housing end. And then we're going to weld an inch there. And then we're going to move over here and weld an inch. And then we're going to come back and weld opposite of the axle, you know, where we made the last tube on the axle weld until this is all 100% welded out. Um, the reason we want to do that is even though it's fixtured, we don't want to put in any undue stresses. So if you walk around this and, and, and really uh, take your time welding it out, you can build this housing on your bench uh, at home just so it's flat and, uh, and have really good success with just some, some spacers and clamps and and things like that to basically achieve the same thing we've got going on with the fixture. So uh, I think I'm going to wrap up the episode here. Next episode, we're going to be uh, talking about putting some A-body suspension on this. And uh, I've got a lot of really trick stuff for that that's, that's uh, you know, factory style. But... Uh, way more adjustable than factory for uh, for my wife Chevelle. So uh, like, subscribe, come back next time, see the next video on this housing, and, uh, and uh, we will uh, catch you on the next one. Appreciate you guys. Thanks.